You are not gay. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what people have said. I don't even care what you feel. You are not gay. I'm going to tell you why on today's Young Life podcast brought to you by Dean Shropshire Ministries. I'm Charity Calstrup. Let's go. So I'm not here to argue and I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to uphold the truth of God's word. The Bible says in Psalms 119, 89, that your word, O Lord, is forever settled. So we're going to look at some scriptures in the word of God that confirm the reality of your creation and how intentional God was with your design. Now, before we jump into this, I want to take you back to memory lane, my memories, my lane. So when when I was in high school, probably my sophomore, maybe junior, senior year, there were two guys that I was friends with in my like accelerated classes or whatever um, that were study mates, like just, you know, guys that I depended upon for like academic success, basically. Um, they weren't guys that I was rom- rom- romantically interested in or attracted to or anything like that, but we were genuinely friends. And for whatever reason, these two guys specifically um, were constantly, you know, kind of made fun of. And honestly, like when I was in high school, it's been a minute and I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I was born in 1982. So do the math, right? So it was, it was a long time ago. And, um, so they were both often like picked on, um, by other guys. One of them, you know, was kind of thin. Um, and I don't even remember why he had girlfriends. He, um, you know, I, I, I really never understood like what the point of all the, uh, the jokes were or where they originated from. I, I wasn't ever really aware. And then another guy, um, you know, kind of the same thing. I, I wouldn't say he was like aggressively f- feminine in his mannerisms. He did have an older sister, like he was the only boy in his home. Um, but, but again, he had girlfriends. He went to prom with girls. Like it wasn't at all that he, you know, gave you any indication that he wasn't like, you know, heterosexual. Well, I found out years later and I wasn't very like socially connected. Like even at school, I was always friendly. I was always fun, but, but I didn't have a lot of friends. I just kind of stuck in my, stayed in my lane, like did my work, hung out with my church friends. I wasn't really like involved. So years later, y'all, and this is kind of like going to date me when MySpace came out, right? When MySpace came out, I never had a MySpace, but I had friends that did. And um, it was like they had both come out, you know, just a few years after we graduated that they were gay. And I remember thinking, gosh, that's so unfortunate um, because here's the thing. And one of my favorite rides, like I really like roller coasters. I really like roller coasters. And one of my favorite rides is Gardens of the Galaxy at Epcot. It is like the best. It is my favorite. But when you go through the whole process of like the ride, you know, it's based on the movie, which I've never seen any of the Guardians movies. I like Chris Pratt, but I've never seen any of the movies. When they're different colors and there's like animals talking, like it just gets weird for me. So I've never watched Guardians, but obviously based on the movie, you know, you go in, you're being introduced to this ride and they're talking about the Big Bang Theory, which is definitely not how things began. There is no possible way that creation just banged out. Like, no, there is a God. And he did create us and he created us in his image. And I don't want to see people destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And I don't want people to buy into a lie that's rooted in basically the love of money and perversion. And and it all unfolds in this window of time because Jesus is returning to rapture his church so quickly. And in order for the Antichrist to come to power, he basically has to have, and I don't want to be crass, but I'm going to be a sackless society. He has to basically destroy the foundation of our identity that God designed in families. So, so communism is behind this. Marxism is behind this. Like socialism is behind this. They have to wear down the family because in wearing down family and where in wearing down the, the framework of how God designed you, 
there can be a, a perpetuation of this huge lie that there is no God, that we're all self-serving, that we can all self-satisfy, that we are good by ourselves so that this Antichrist can rise to power once the church is raptured and 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 basically destroy everything that we've ever known. And that may say seem that may seem really far fetched, but I assure you it absolutely is not. And even though we can't compete with end times, what we can do is build our life on the truth. And you may be watching this broadcast and you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, I want to encourage you to do this. I want to encourage you to just hear my voice, hear these scriptures, see the sincerity of my heart and realize that I'm not, I'm not trying to pick pick fights. I'm not trying to to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just simply saying, if you're not satisfied, if you know deep down in your heart, there's got to be more. I'm telling you there is. There is a God and he loves you and he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And at the very core of your being, you were either male or or female. And when you return to that place, when you accept God as God, there is no other fulfillment like it. Not only will there be eternal security for you in heaven, but you'll experience joy and peace and confidence. And again, I don't care what you've already done. I don't care if you've come out as gay. I don't care if you've been involved in homosexual activities. It doesn't matter. You can choose life today. You can choose to believe the word of God today. In Genesis chapter one, verses 11 through 13, God said, let the earth bring forth grass, herb yielding seed, the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so, and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind. And the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and God saw that it was good and the evening and the morning were the third day. Here's the point. Everything reproduces after its kind. In order for there to be an, a, an original plan for homosexuals and, 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 and alternative lifestyles that had to exist from the beginning. Everything reproduces after its own kind. So if it wasn't in the garden, it's not a thing. Genesis 1, 26 to 28. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them male and female. This was God's original design. There are two genders. There is male and female. And anything outside of that is a narrative. It's an indoctrination designed to control you, designed to make you powerless, designed to make you self-serving instead of self-sacrificing, which is actually how you even enjoy your sexuality, how you enjoy other relationships, and most certainly how you fulfill God's plan for your life. There is a God. The Bible says in the last day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. You were made the way that you were made for a reason by specific design. God has something specific to accomplish in your life. And guys, if you're a guy, it's amazing to be a guy. If you're a girl, it's amazing to be a girl. And I don't care how dissatisfied or how ridiculed or made fun of or awkward you may have felt in your own skin or in your own sexuality. It's a lie of the enemy designed to trap you, designed to keep you in a place of mental disorder and dysfunction and depression. There is a place in you being restored to the identity that God gave you where you are so free and you are so happy and you are so excited to be alive. At your very core, God made you either male or female and for you to interact with the opposite sex for the ultimate fulfillment and the reproduction of mankind. And in Anything outside of that is designed to eliminate God. In Romans chapter 1, we can see how all of this unfolded. And, and the reality is sexual perversion or, or homosexual activity is, is not a new thing. Like it existed in Bible times in Genesis chapter 19. And there's a way that it happens. It's not like, you know, a new thing and it's not like your special. No, it 
is an actual progression. There are actually things that happen in order to make a way for you to violate your true identity or the true way that you were made. And in Romans chapter one, we see that progression. We see what happens. In verse 18, it says God's angry displeasure erupts as acts of human mistrust and wrongdoing and lying accumulate. And it's not an aggressive anger. It's a passive anger in the sense that you will reap what you sow. Death and life, according to Deuteronomy 30, 19, has been set before you. Just like you sow an apple seed, you get an apple tree. If you sow to the flesh, if you sow outside of love, because God is love. Love isn't love. God is love. Love isn't a feeling. Love isn't a preference. Love is a person. God is love. And when you invest, make investments, when you make decisions, when you have conversations, when you think thoughts outside of God's word, which is forever settled, it says of itself in Matthew 24, 35, that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. And listen, I'm not here to argue. There will be no arguing. If you don't like what I'm saying, you have the ability to scroll. But if there's a hunger in your heart, if there's a conviction, if there's just a desire on the inside of you to hear me out, I want you to know that freedom is on the other side of the truth, that God's word is true, that he loves you. He has a plan for your life and he made you the way that he made you for a reason. But what happens is when you violate his order, it creates chaos in your life. It creates unrest in your life. It creates confusion in your life. So this is what happens. The the basic reality of God is plain enough. Open your eyes. There's no way this just banged out. There's no possible way. When you look at a mountain, when you look at the moon, when you look at the stars, there's no way that you can't help but say there is a God. There is a God. When you see a new baby, and I get it, there's been horrible things that many people have experienced. Uh, Babies born with deformities, car accidents, uh, losses of loved one, all kinds of destruction, but that's not at the hand of God. There is an enemy. The Bible says in John 10, 10, that the enemy comes to steal, to kill and destroy his design is to hurt humanity. Why? Because he got kicked out of heaven and he hates humanity. He hates God's God's most prized possession. So the Bible says he roams about seeking who he may devour. He takes everything that God created for good and he perverts it. He's such a perverter. He doesn't even have his own graphic design company. Like he is such a pervert. He took the rainbow, which is God's promise of of faithfulness to humanity. And he perverted it into his own logo for homosexuality. I mean, talk about a counterfeiter. He is not, he has nothing original in him. All he can do is pervert what is authentic. There is no more authentic love for you. There is no more authentic anything than God. And he loves you. And when you cooperate with his love, there's a peace and there's a fulfillment that's unlocked on the inside of you that you cannot get anywhere else. So this all started with just ignoring that there is a God. God has created people. He's always been able to see what their eyes can't see, eternal power. What happened? People knew God perfectly well, but when they didn't treat him like God, see, this is the progression. When you know there's a God, but you denounce it. Well, why do people denounce it? For their own perversion, for money, for control because they want to be Lord of their own lives instead of giving up lordship to God. They want to be in control. They want to create their own one world. That's why they knew God, but they denounced him and they tried to get society to denounce him. They tried to allow people or or to convince people to be their own God, to self-satisfy, to self-gratify, that they can be whatever they want to be. When the only true fulfillment comes from being who he made you to be. So they didn't treat him like God. They refused to worship him. They trivialized themselves into silliness and confusion so that there was neither sense nor direction left in their lives. They pretended to know it all, but they were illiterate regarding life. They traded the glory of God who holds the whole world in his hand for cheap figurines you can buy at any roadside stand. So God, in effect, said if that's what they want, then that's what they get. It wasn't long before they were living in a pig pen, smeared with filth, filthy 
inside and out. And all of this because they traded the true God for a fake God and they worshiped the God they made instead of the God who made them. The God we bless, the God who blesses us, worse followed, refusing to know God. They soon didn't know how to be human either. Women didn't know how to be women. Men didn't know how to be men. Sexually confused, they abused and defiled one another. Women with men, men with men, all lust, no love. And they paid for it. Oh, how they paid for it. Emptied of God and love, godless and loveless wretches. Since they didn't bother to acknowledge God, God quit bothering them and let them run loose. Then all hell broke loose. Rampant evil, grabbing, grasping, vicious backbiting. They made life hell on earth with their envy, wanton killing, bickering, cheating. Look at them, mean-spirited, venomous, forked tongue, God bashers, bullies, swaggers, insufferable windbags. They keep inventing new ways of wrecking lives. They ditch their parents when they get in the way. Stupid, slimy, cruel, cold-blooded. And it's not as if they didn't know better. They knew perfectly well. They were spitting in God's face and they didn't care. Worse, they hand out prizes to those who do the worst things best. Now, you may be watching this podcast and honestly, like, you had no idea. You didn't know how things transpired. You didn't know why they transpired. But I'm telling you right now that God made me man in his own image and he made him male and female and you're one or the other. And when you embrace his love into your life, when you embrace his word, when you embrace his spirit into your life, he teaches you how to be your true you. You know, and people have said, there's a verse in the Bible. I'll read it to you. Galatians chapter three, verses 26 through 29. It says that in Christ Jesus, there is neither male nor female. You know, recently people have used that and, and made it seem like there is no gender, that, that, that gender doesn't matter. No, gender does matter. What that verse is saying is that in Christ Jesus, whether you're a male or you're a female, you still have access to God. You still have access to, to relationship with God in the same way. God doesn't prefer one gender over the other. He loves both the same, but he, he has a specific plan for your sexuality and for your life. He made you a guy for a reason. He made you a girl for a reason. And I want to encourage you to allow his love to free you from anything in your past, from any lies, from any any confusion. And if you'll accept him into your heart, maybe you've already accepted Jesus into your heart, but you've believed a lie. You haven't been involved in a church. You haven't heard the truth. You've been hurt. You've been violated. You've been mistreated. And it's allowed you to to take on an identity that's not consistent with how God made you. I want to pray over you. I want you to know that you can be free today. I want you to lead. I want to lead you in a prayer. I want you to pray a prayer with me to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior because you were not born gay. You were not born gay. You were made either male or female for a specific purpose in this hour. And the only way to be free, the only way to be filled is to commit your life to him and allow him to teach you how to be you allowing him to show you what you were made to be. You are gifted. You are anointed. That means there's a special grace on your life to do something that nobody else can do. And so if you're listening and you're like, you know what? I, 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 I'm done. I, I, I believe you. I want to be free. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear heavenly father, right now, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. I believe all the sin of the world was laid on him so I could be right. He was broken in every way so that I could be whole. Right now, I accept him into my life. Jesus, make me brand new. From this day forward, I will be who you made me to be. And I will learn how to be the person that you've called me to be. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Listen, thank you so much for praying that prayer with me. And maybe you're already saved, but you've made mistakes. You've been struggling. You've been frustrated. You've bought into a lie about your sexuality. There's information on your screen right now. Hit us up. Let us send you free resources from Choose Life Church and Dean Shropshire Ministries. We want you to accomplish God's plan for your life. And we want you to spend forever in heaven. So there's no reason to live life in confusion. There's no reason to live life in perversion outside of God's plan. He made you male or female. You were not born gay. I don't care what you feel. I don't care what people have said. I don't care what's been done to you. You have a plan and a purpose and you can accomplish it in relationship with God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.